Well, let's talk about the four primary blood groups, O, A, B, and AB, okay? Which is the most common? The most common is O positive. So, see, that's the other thing. There's an RH factor associated with each of those What's types. What's RH mean? It's the rhesus blood. Uh, yeah, so, what it means is whether the blood is right. safe or going to cause right. a reaction. Right, can cause a reaction in someone's body. So, O negative, that would be an O blood type without the RH, mm -hmm. is the universal donor. It could be given to any blood type. So if you got into crisis management and you didn't want, you didn't yes. have time to test it, yes. running through all the precautions, yes. you can get you can yes. give it, cross your fingers, and, and it should and, be. And it. because of that, it gets used very frequently in a clinical setting, particularly in a trauma situation where you don't know the blood type of the individual and the blood has to be given immediately. Typically, O negative will be ordered uh, to be transfused. I've given blood ten times. How frequently can I give blood? You can give blood every 56 days. Every 56 days. Now, when I say that, I'm talking about a unit of whole blood, okay? And we can get into that a little bit later. Uh, but if you give uh, or donate a unit of whole blood, your body is going to take 56 days in order for you to replenish the red blood cells that we took from your body. Uh, am I weak during that period of time? Do, do I... Uh... Can I go out and play a game of basketball well, two days later? Well, probably during the first 24 to 48 hours, it'd be advisable not to go out and do anything very strenuous. What is blood like? I know it's red and it's right. there and it comes sure. out when you stick your finger. All right, well, let's start with the basics. Generally speaking, people will be able to relate to the fact when they donate a unit of blood, a roughly unit. a pint, yeah. 500 milliliters, okay? It's a unit of what we call whole blood, meaning it has all the components in one uh, bag. Uh, we take that blood bag and we actually centrifuge it and spin it down to where the red blood cells then migrate to the bottom. And that separates the red blood cells from the plasma. So the plasma is clear, not red? The plasma is clear. It's got a yellowish tint to it. But it's, it's been hiding inside with those red right. blood cells. That's the fluid that your red blood cells flow Living. into. Yeah. Uh, now, we separate those two because clinically in the hospital, some patients will only need red blood cells. Other patients may only need plasma. Then there's another small component that's very important called platelets. platelets. What do platelets do? Platelets uh, facilitate the clotting mechanism yeah. in your blood. If you cut your hand it's working out in the yard, uh, it starts bleeding. You know, within a few minutes, it'll start hardening and create a scab. Platelets are the r rushes to that wound to help clot that wound. When you draw a pint of blood from me, how safe is that? How do you know if that blood is safe that I'm giving you? Okay. What do you have to do to make Very the blood Very important safe? question. Probably the most critical part of the process actually happens behind the scenes. And that's where every unit of blood is tested for any type of uh, blood-borne disease. Anything ah. that could be transmitted in the course of a transfusion. So, so there's the, lots of diseases that the blood, may, the blood may carry and absolutely. you wean that blood off. Absolutely. And there's a whole list of those type of diseases that are tested for before it's deemed to be safe to tr be transfused to a patient's body. So you store that blood uh, when you take it and get it purified. Right. How is it stored? Well, the red blood cells are stored in a refrigerator, uh -huh. okay? And it can be stored up to 42 days. 42 days. It has days. to be used within 42 days oh. before we ha it has to be discarded. Do See, it's ever, got a, a life cycle there. Do you ever find yourself in a situation where you have leftover blood, or you find yourself in a situation, we've got to get some more donors in here? Well, we generally find ourselves more in a situation of needing more donors. On those occasions where we have blood that is being close to expiring, we will contact other blood centers across the country and quite often they will need that type of blood so it doesn't go wasted.